Hi, this is the Build and Learn series, where I blend SolidWorks skills with the endless possibilities of Lego. This is lesson five, and in this lesson, we're creating two parts. The first is a standard Lego brick. We've already done the plate, now we're gonna modify that into a brick, but we're gonna add some additional detail that the brick has, the plate doesn't. That uses, again, some more configurations and some thin features. Then for the second part we're doing, it's got some slightly different geometry to the original plate parts we've created. I'll show you how to modify those parts and create geometry coming from a different angle. At the end, we'll add those parts to our assembly and continue our progress. Let's get started. A brick two by four. So what we're gonna do is open up our plate configuration and we're gonna save as a copy and open. And we're gonna change it to brick two by dot and we're gonna find, we should be actually, we should be able to use the dimensions of the four by one to start and copy a lot of the same information. So the difference in this brick will be that this first extrude is it's around 9.4. Let's check that against this reference here, 9.6. Let's use 9.6. Uh, the bricks on the top would stay the same. We will have a shell, which would be the same. Yep, shell looks the same. But then we have these posts coming through the middle to our 3D view here. And you can see those posts. What this cab, um, this misses is the um, recesses in the shell. And there's a couple of ribs going through the middle. So we'll add those in. Um, so here we've got this part. Now, do we have a dimension for that? Should, if it's the same as this, we'll be able to use that reference. Let's check in now and 6.2, 6.4. It's a bit smaller, but I'm, I'm inclined to just stick to the dimensions that we have in the original file. And the inside, now 4.9 inch. What are we getting? 5.1. Let's leave it as is. And we do want to add the rib. So this is one point of difference. And it's a very thin rib, but important nonetheless. We're going here, we're doing a mid plane thin feature. And we're going offset from surface. We're going to offset it. Yeah, I'm going to guess about three millimeters. And the thickness of these, it's about 0 0.6, 0 0.8. Right, so we're going to put that in. Now, there's another detail in this part it's hard to see. It's definitely not in the example CAD. I will see if I can uh, show you here. So you can see there's also these little ribs on the side faces. They do have a little bit of an angle to them. Um, but you can see they're all sort of all... There's four on the bottom and two on the sides on both, both faces. So let's put that little detail in too while we're at it. Because we can see that detail in at this point here. Now it starts on the top face and it is in line. These these little rib things are in line with these circles. So if we start a line here, do one like this, like we did earlier, and make this equal and for construction, and then give this a dimension, yeah, it is very small. I'm gonna go 0 0.2. We'll have to think about the way we pattern this in a second. Let's just do these two, for instance, for now. And we will just use a thin feature once again, but they are gonna be much smaller and they're gonna go up to surface like this. Okay, now we're not gonna add the dra draft. These would have draft to them. We might add that later. For now, I'm just gonna keep that very small detail. And I just wanna see how this is patterned when we increase from a brick that is two by two, the default, to two by four. Because we wanna get, firstly, we wanna get that rib in. We can see that's creating an issue with our fin feature because thin feature was related to the outside wall rather than the circle. So we'll change that reference. You can see here this mid plane one, delete that, delete that, and then that will work. So change that there, change this one here, make it in line with this. Right. right, so that works. This one here, we're gonna want to include, okay, the second rib that we do here, we want to include, and then a mirror for the one on the end. Right, so we're getting a little bit complex. That is okay. So how do we do it? This is how we're going to do it. We're going to mirror these two. They will always be in there. We will then create a plane as reference geometry. And in that plane, we get a mirror by the outside ones. So they're always going to be there too. And what that should mean is that when this goes to a two by three and we show these and we do a mirror, blink. It's up in there, two by three. <laughs> Oh, 
This one should be one. Is that okay? We've stuffed up something here. Default is add four, five, three, four, three. Let's look at our tabled configuration table. Now we can see that as uh, for two by three, this number should be one. I'm going to get an error. So this linear pattern should not proceed. There we go. All right. Well, let's see if that works. All right. So this plane won't work from this version, just on this version. Every other version be fine. So let's ditch it then. We can do a fresh one just for this, just for this, for three bricks. I can mirror that one. We can also mirror the other one to mirror this bit as well. Okay, just on our three bricks. Now on the three bricks, we'd also need one more. It should be right in the middle. Oh, we don't need to mirror it there. Okay. We're getting a few mirrors, but we're getting closer to what we need. So we're just trying to make it so that no matter what number configuration we have, those little details are going to work. 2.4, they're here. And then we want to do a pattern for this rib. This linear pattern can include this rib. That's going to be the easiest way to do it. We don't need to include it in the mirror. It's going to be in the linear pattern. And then if we got this one, um, so this one, one, two, three. Somehow we need to get um, one of these thin features into the linear pattern as well. And what I'm thinking is it should be the one to the left. So, um, Yeah, so how you know, this changes things is this linear, this thread thin, we're actually only going to select a couple of contours. We're going to select this one and this one, okay? Then we're going to do another extrude thin. Same, you'll do exactly the same thing, but this one's going to be the opposite contours. This one, this one. So what we're doing is separating those two features. So this one can be mirrored and this one, this one, and this one can be mirrored, but only this one can be patterned. So when we see our linear pattern, we're going to edit that, and that's now going to include this. And then if we come down, when we mirror, a mirror is going to include that plus that. And that's our solution. And that, I think, will be pretty neat. So if we go down to two by three, this linear pattern, you see it's true, coming out one, this one, all configurations, selected contours. So something's happened here. So it's reverted beneath this one to turn itself on. Now it's included in that pattern. And then in this mirror, we also want to include this one. All right, we're getting there. So we have a default block, two by three, two by four. I we'll see that's a little bit out there. Is it our numbers, our pattern numbers? Yeah, 7.9, the magic number. 7.9, our magic number. Keeping that. All right, that looks good. Default type, two by three, default. Yep, two by three, two by four. Two by fives, we have to turn to things on, but we're not going to worry about that today. We'll do that when we get a requirement for that brick. And uh, I've made one blue, which is this is actually not in every version. We do want to tweak that. So in this two by four brick, uh, it doesn't even show it here. It does show it if we go to one of these images. Is it going to let us show? It's only in the middle. Use the image. It's only in the middle. It's not on every single one. So. Back a step, let's fix that up. It's just gonna be some tweaking. Again, default is correct, 2.3. I don't know on a three brick yet. We'll have to see. Two by four, it's only on the middle. So this one actually, we suppress that, but there becomes one on this one, is this feature here. So what we're gonna do is show that, do a new sketch here, just put it on a middle circle. This one is going up to three offset from that face mid plane eight. So we're gonna go, Mid plate eight, offset from surface three, like that. I just want to drop that after the pattern. All right, now that looks pretty good. Let's save it and drop it into our assembly. That brick is going underneath that rear edge. Got a bit of a bent plastic part here. So okay. Sure, we'll be able to work through that. So we'll find out here how our size is as well. Brick two by, and let's add some mate. We're gonna go coincident. I like coincident. Yep, and. Line up those two. Cool. Looks good. Looks good. Looks lined up. Lined up. Nice. Save. Let's get going. Okay. Some new parts. Okay. You have a silly tiny cream piece and this white one here. Uh, let's do the white one first. Am I going to need two of each? This will go into our mirror components. And let's have a look at what uh, parts are called. Let's start with this one. It's a bracket. One by two, 
one by four radical ones I guess it does have round clip. Nice. Let's have a look at the preview of the uh three D. Uh no no three D preview. That's okay. It looks a lot like this. That is pretty accurate. We just can't see the underside, but the underside is very similar to everything else. So let's start it with a one of these count two by one blocks, and we're going to save it as this and looks reasonable. And we're going to do the bracket off the side away from the right plane, which will be this face here. And so let's just do it. Yeah, extrude on this plane. We're going to do a larger rectangle. We're going to make it um, symmetrical, so it's going to link to that origin. We'll measure the width. I'm getting 31 and I know from everything else it's going to be around 31.9 or 31.6 I think our magic number is 31.6 which is 7.9 times 4 is that it yeah so we use that a height 7.9 one row and then it's got a radius at the bottom pretty small let's go like 1.5 we'll do that as a sketch fillet and then how thick this section is 1.4 so I'm going to extrude that out 1.4 now we can then check the overall thickness. It's measuring in at about 9.4. See what we get from here to here. 9.3. That's fine. Okay, cool. Now on the underside, that is accurate, except we have three new ribs. These ribs are in line with each of these points, just like so. And then I draw three lines like this. Again, I'm, I'm staggering the lines because I'll be using the center point of the circle to align them and then I'm going to measure or estimate how big they are. So all pretty small, it's about two millimeters, the way the less. Uh, so I can just notice something which I will tweak here. So on the underside, we we'll actually get rid of this face. So this face here disappears. And this is one of the reasons for the ribs. You know, they had an error in it. I'll have to just remodel these, resketch. That edge is gonna join there. And that's why the uh, two millimeter dimension looks so wrong, because they were so close, but it is Correct, and the thickness of these ribs, 1.1 millimeters. Mid plane, 1.1, up to, you can say it, up to this surface. Okay, and that is that in detail. Now that this wall here is flat, we don't have to do anything on the inside. On the outside, we have to do our regular holes. This one, now these will match these. Now, let's see if I can make those same dimension, and I cannot. I'll just do it manually. 4.85. Double check. Yep. 4.85. And then, as we've seen before, it's about a 0.8 hill wall thickness. 0.8 offset. Now, these are in the middle of this face. If I try and use the mid plane or the midpoint of this edge, I won't get the middle of the face because the radius is taking off some of that distance. So, the best way to do it is with a line just through the middle make that for construction and use that to get the midpoint make that horizontal um i'm not doing do any configurations for this instead i'll do a linear pattern i will put in our usual measurements 7.9 and i will do another construction line between these two in the middle and i'll make sure that the midpoint of that line is on this one and that fully defines that sketch all that's left then is to work out how big they are then they are going to 3.2 millimeters from this back face so here's a trick in this case i haven't measured just how far out these go i've measured how far they go from this face on the rear and it's 3.2 now if i just want to use that equation i can change my direction to offset from surface select this surface then change the direction and it's going to put 3.2 millimeters to this face from the pink. And we can check that by going here, from here to here, and we can see 3.2. All right, very nicely done. This part fits onto uh, this section underneath that black bit on the top. So, uh, or around the side of it. Yeah. So let's put that in, and then we'll do the green part on the corner. So we're getting. This one, I'm going to make this face with this. Then we're going to make this face with this. Flip the direction, and then it should be this, this. And the fit is very nice. Now we will add that to the mirror feature in a com in a minute uh, once we've done that green triangle. I mean, once we've done that green triangle. Hey, thanks for watching all the way to the end. Really appreciate that. This has been the Lego Build and Learn series by Fully Defined. If the next video has been released, it'll be on the top link to your right.
please hit the thumbs up and subscribe and leave a comment below with what you'd like to see next. Your feedback is what motivates me to provide more content. See you in the next one.